Okay, so this is the tagging gum that we're going to be using, and the aim is to get 50 tags into 50 fish in the lake, 50 tench. That's the needle that goes in just at the base of the dorsal fin, and that will insert individual ones of these tags. And each of these have a specific number for each fish. So the next one will be 1006, and that's then recorded. And in recording it, we talk about species, tench, the length, we'll do in inches, location, that's important. So far, we've got these three measured in the northern part of the lake, and comments we've put in the gender, so male, female. And that's quite useful because it tells you if there's a lot of females, that it's quite a healthy population. If we had too many males, that could have an impact on spawning in the future. Yep, there he is. Mm. I've caught you before. <laughs> <laughs> I've caught him several times, this guy. See the see the markings there, the V where he's been hit. No, I've caught that. Oh, it's, it's, it's extremely gold, that's, isn't it? Can... That's, that's spawned, that fish has spawned. You see, he's got a, nothing in this cavity here. So it's 19 inches. Pretty tough, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. That's better. That's got it. Zero 06 was a fail. Okay. And this fired. That's obviously a post-spawn fish, you can sell the empty gut cavity, and they do lose a lot of condition with spawning. Um, the fight certainly wasn't of a fish that's in prime condition. That fish I've now caught four times. So potentially it could be caught again with a tag in it in future years, and we'll see just what happens to it. inches this is unique this is the first time as far as we're aware that a tagging program has been done in this lake for tench to see what it's been doing it's been very much a mystery fish since the 1990s what is the size of the population how many are there where are they in the lake is it just small groups that move around the lake all the time or are they evenly spread around the lake all that sort of thing is probably useful for fish and game in terms of how successful the fishery has been yeah it is a good one too Ooh, yeah, this is pretty this is a good fish. That's a good fish. That's the quality fish. Beautiful looking fish. That's a prime fish. You got it? Yeah. Girls can <laughs> fish. <laughs> Don't catch the bigger ones. Okay. Probably a catfish. My money's on a catfish. I would say. No, it's a tench. Oh, it is a tench. A good tench too. Can you get the net hung quickly? Just be. 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 Just be.
Yep. If you are fishing here and you do catch a fish, a tench with a tag in it, it's important firstly not to kill it. 21 inch. 21. Yeah. The important thing yeah. for the fishing game need is the tag number. That is unique to that fish and from that we can record what that fish is actually doing. So if you catch a tag fish, don't kill it, record the number and record its length and forward that information to Fish and Game because it's that information that will tell us what this fishery is doing. That's it. And it's no different to any trout that's tagged. 1008. Got the camera. I'm going to get a close up. What I enjoy about this is it's got a new challenge to it. It's something very different, very challenging. Um, they're a unique fish which requires unique tactics unique unique approaches to actually get them to take on a consistent basis so when I say consistent you're aiming to catch five or six of them every session if not more you know, our best has been 16 fish in one session here um, the other thing that fascinates me is just how big are they in here down in front of me there he is Big heavy weight over. It. They do this, they come in easier than they struggle at the end. Right, got him. Yep. Stroppy. Yes. Another Our biggest up. is over six pound. We've caught big males in that sort of four to five pound. On an overseas studies, females can be twice that size. Okay, 19 inch female. So again, is the fishery just limited by how much food it can get? Tags in. Tag number. Um, one double zero nine. Right. So what we found is that we're definitely getting three different sizes of fish. You're getting them under 14 inches, which we've done tonight. 16 to 18 inches, which again we've done, and 20 inch plus. And that to us tells us that there's probably at least three generations of fish in here. That's a fish that lives for 15, 14 to 16 years. So the original fish that we'll put in here in 1990, they've gone. So the, now you've got at least three generations of reproduction that's going on, which tends to show it's quite a healthy fishery. And certainly the condition of the fish is very good. So it's a female, and she is 20 inches. Um, those fish are putting on condition after spawning, probably in November, December. So come April, May, and then again in September when they start again, those fish are in prime condition. Yeah, Bugger! Take them off too. They're getting revenge, you see, for the other ones that are going into the, the veggie patch at home. <laughs>